The members of the Taxi Association got together to protest the conditions they face on Tuesday, and President of the organization, Adrian Acosta, says that something drastic has to be done. A lot of our drivers are now complaining concerning the treatment that they are receiving when they go to the license office throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Right? Um, when they take their vehicles to be inspected, uh, those who are at seven seat, who have who seven seats are available for them in their vehicles, are now being downsized to six seats. We have uh, spoken about this issue a number of times with those in authority, the Minister of Works and Transport, PS. Uh, we have even protested about it. Right? Um, we are saying today that we believe that taxi drivers are under pressure at this point in time. The drivers say that they are being hampered from providing full service, while the PTSE buses have no such problem. They have no place sign at the Chase Village flyover, and they have no place signs at the Kearney flyover. Right, we are saying that those, those signs are very um, troublesome to us, where we now have to drop our passengers on the top of the highway so they can walk down the flyovers. And we are saying that it's putting us at a disadvantage to the to PTSC, the public transportation company, where they can go down the flyover and cross over between the hours of 6 and 9, and we have to drop our passengers and walk down, or we have to go down into the traffic, down Freeport, to come back up to turn to go on the highway. They argue that in Port of Spain, signs which will come into effect by May 24th have been placed on streets where taxis will not be able to enter. They know that pH taxis are not hampered by this in any way. The Taxi Association is calling for justice and say if they continue to be ignored, they will take further action. Mary Therese Bernard, TTT News.